One of the things that you mentioned in your presentation was that if you wanted to be a cloud player, you couldn't release every four years. And we're now on this much more rapid cadence, much faster releases. How do you help the market adapt to that very much more agile, very much more rapid pace? It's more around mindset, getting into um, a different cycle. So our job at Sage is to make the upgrading really easy. So historically, from a partner perspective and a customer perspective, it could take months, sometimes years, to deal with that upgrade. So what we're looking to do is divorce general patching from a main upgrade, give the partner choice, also give them time so that if they have their own add-ons, they're able to develop that in, a, in an agile way to tie in with the upgrade. We're not going to be forcing our customers to upgrade every six months, but our intention is to get into that six-month release cycle so that we're in a position to provide more functionality more quickly to the market, but actually get customers and our partners over time used to sort of a cycle of much more frequent upgrading. So actually the whole process should be very, very different to what it's been historically. So I actually think the biggest challenge for our partners is just embracing that. We have some who are very used to that, who are already dealing with you know, cloud technologies for, for other applications. So it's about thinking around that, whether it be on-premise or in the cloud, how do they need to work differently and tie their release cycles for their add-on products in with ours. So that's one of the reasons why we've been very, very visible with the roadmaps so they can see exactly what's coming and when. And I think working together in true partnership is more and more important. One of the things which is driving that, that more rapid release, I guess, is this constant integration of products. And we've seen that right across the board. Uh, much tighter integration of the components, much, to really knit together. Uh, and I guess that speaks to your target customers here. The, we're not necessarily talking about large organizations, we're talking about ones you have more complex needs uh, maybe than a, a mid-market organisation would. With Sage RPX3, we have various size companies. Um, you're probably the biggest users, number of users that we have are around 2,000, so that's a very big business. At the other end, we've got people who have maybe got 20, 30 users. So it really doesn't depend on the size of the business, it very much depends on what the business does. Um, if they're a high growth business, wanting to be agile themselves, wanting software that easily, easily scales with their business, that's where Sage RPX3 really plays. So in terms of you know, process, discrete manufacturing, distribution industries, um, we have you know, real sort of strength in those markets and then with our partners, able to add sort of more niche vertical capability with add-on products, that's where the real strength is. But to your point, that integration between third-party applications, a range of connected services that are either provided by Sage or through our partners or different parts of the ecosystem, increasingly more important. So we need to ensure that we tie all of that together with, with this shorter release cycle.